where do we go next, mom? Like, what do, what do we do? It just, I don't want to put them in that spot. And it's terrible to think as a parent that, you know, I didn't know where we were going to go. I didn't know if we were going to have a house in the next 20 days, 10 days. Every day I'd come home and I'd try to make the most of it. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about what am I going to do about this stuff that we have here? What about their toys? What about their room? It, it broke me not being able to say, yeah, we still have a house. We're still good. We're still OK. That was it for me. I actually found out I was pregnant at 15. I was like, man, what am I gonna do? I chose to keep the kid, now I'm holding the kid. and I've just loved it ever since. I wouldn't take it back for the world. They're my heart and soul, you know, every single one of them. They drive me crazy, but you know, I love them. I love this life. She is like the best type of client we can ever ask for. She's motivated to, you know, improve her life and the life of her kids. Through Zeke's school, I uh, found out that he has ADHD. They suggested that we get a therapist, which was through Jewish Family Services. And that's when I got in contact with Ruby. She's awesome. I love her to pieces. She's always been there for everything. We have a lot of families that are single parents and it is some of the most exhausting and worrisome situations for parents. It's weird asking for services, you know, it, it's, it's weird to reach out to people, but they don't make it like that. Genevieve received mental health support, food pantry support, employment support, our kids' success. I feel like she got a little bit of everything here. I actually was chatting with Ruby and she was like, hey, I'm just checking in, seeing how the family's going. I know times are rough right now. And I was like, yeah, times are really rough. It was during COVID. My manager above me was like, you got to start cutting hours out. And I'm like, well, how am I going to pay for my kids? You know, I'm a single mother, so how do I pay for my home? You know, I don't, he goes, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That's not my problem. You, you want to be able to self-sustain as a parent. It was scary knowing that I was in that group that needed help and I didn't know where to look. And I said, Ruby, what do I do? I don't know what to do. And she goes, let's get you some rental assistance from Jewish Family Services. And that's when I started crying, like, hope finally came through again. Thank you. <laughs> and then I, I went and told my kids, I'm like, let's go to the park. <laughs> I wanted to celebrate. Like right then and there, it just, it, it made me so happy. I was like, okay, something came through that hope, that hope. It makes you feel empowered to keep moving forward. You know, that's what it does for me. She called me and told me, Ruby, I was able to get my own lease with no co-signer. I am financially independent. Thank you. Thank you, JFS. Genevieve is amazing. She is able to care for her kids and provide for them independently. I never imagined I would be able to have my own apartment, my house, my cat, my car. You're never judged at JFS. You're not just a number, you're a person. It's a, it's a blessing having people and having tons of people be there for you and, you know, what you guys do at Jewish Family Service. I, I just want to hug every single one of you guys because you guys gave me that hope back that I'm still a good mother, that I'm still okay. And that I got a community behind me that is always going to be there. You guys are family to me, every single one of you.